Hi there. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing very well. This is going to be a quick video of a little DIY that I'm doing for Diwali. You can maybe get some inspiration out of it. So do check out the full video. So the first thing I'm going to do is create this DIY hut. I'm going to make this hut from a waste water bottle. Now the paint is totally dried on this one which I made about an hour ago. Since I'm DIYing many things together, my table is kind of a mess so do ignore it. This is a 2 liter water bottle of the brand Bisleri which I'm going to use for doing this particular DIY and the whole symbolism of making this hut is just to represent light within the home that is what I'm going for here. It can be just a decorative piece. So let's get started. I have already cut the cone part of the bottle to get the top of the hut. I have done so cutting along the groove of the bottle. Now considering the rough height that I want for the hut I am going to cut the bottom part of the bottle. Now I'm using a paper cutter to do the job. You can use a knife or a scissor or whatever else that you have in hand. I'm going to cut roughly one centimeter apart, small cuttings from one groove to the other to make small flaps. Bend these inwards so that the hut placed above would get some support. I'm going to repeat the same process for the top cone of the bottle too, but this time I'm going to cut through two grooves rather than just one. Once I'm done, I'm going to bend the flaps outwards this time so the roof of the house can be firmly secured onto the base of the hut. I'm going to roughly mark the door of the house. So I'm going to first just make a rough line and then Cut it deeply after I have got the measurement right. Make sure that the entrance of the hut is big enough to put a candle, a dia or a tea light inside. Time to check that the top and bottom are aligning and go straight for that glue. This is the glue I'm using. You can use a glue gun too. When you join the top and bottom half of the hut, make sure you align them perfectly. The groove of the bottle can help with this. Now comes the fun part. You can go ahead and color this into any color of your choice and design it any way you want to suit the occasion of your choice. I'm using only acrylic paints for this purpose. I'm using a white paint primer before I put in the color. But you can go ahead and use the colors directly. It's up to you. Make sure that between coats your paint dries out very well so that the layers don't get smudged. To celebrate this festival of lights, to bring about light into the darkness of our minds and homes, we do not really require a whole lot of things. We can always repurpose and reuse all our old decorative items or even create our own. This is what we decided to do this Diwali. I wouldn't discourage anyone from going out and shopping to their heart's joy, but we decided to just reuse whatever we have. So in that effort, I decided to repurpose some old candles and candle holders by decorating them with a the little glue and glitter that I already had. 
onto some of these plain candle holders i decided to draw an outline of glue of the design of my choice so i could sprinkle some glitter onto them and get the design of choice inside those designs i would just paint some acrylic paint and bring about certain designs some of them i kept very simple because they were already colored glasses i just put some decoration on the edges and just highlighted a few corners so it would look pretty Some of these candles that I had got from Home Center a while back and I hadn't used, I decided to give them a pop of color so it could bring about a festive look. So that brings us to the end of this video. May this Diwali guide you closer to home and to humanity. Fill your hearts with kindness and joy. Let our homes be an embodiment of light. Let us inculcate the values of Vasudeva Kudupakam. Happy Diwali!